Glen Allergy. And uh, Richard, could you tell us something about yourself and what you're doing here? Uh, I'm the operations director. Um, I'm fortunate to have joined the project at the beginning of its um, life. Um, I had a history in the industry, left Harriet Watt University, having studied for several years, worked in research, and then moved on through the brewing course at the ICBD. Um, I then moved into a small uh, one of the one of the distilleries you would call craft nowadays, but maybe one that was really unusual to have been built in the 90s. Uh, I worked as the brewer, spent some time learning the process, learning the, the issues that are involved in the running of a distillery, and then gradually um, became the assistant manager and the manager and ran it for a number of years. Moved on from that to get this incredible opportunity to work in the malting industry, where I got the chance to supply malt to all these fabulous distilleries that you see around Scotland, and then ultimately further afield, but predominantly in Scotland, where I got to see best demonstrate practices. I got to see all these, you know, these incredibly well-known distillers who worked so hard to make this fantastic spirit, but in so many different ways, with so many different cares and so many different attentions. Uh, and then on to engineering and work for Briggs, the supplier of the Maston to um, Glenlivet, McAllen, um, Cooley, for example, um, and engineering solutions throughout the industry to the brewing industry as well. Uh, that gave me a little bit more knowledge of that sector. And then ultimately, for a little while, I worked at Mossburn Distillers, which is a really incredibly interesting uh, company that have a project to build a nice distillery in the borders. They've just finished building one on Sky, the second one on Sky. So now the label should say, not the only distillery in Sky when you see that for the, the other distillery there. Um, and then they were doing some project work to build a distillery in Japan as well. So I got a little bit involved in that. Then Billy knocked on the door and said, I have a small project that might be of interest. And when you first saw this <laughs> distillery here with all your background, what were your first thoughts? Uh, it, it's, it's special. It's, it's got that history. It's got that provenance. There was some real thought put behind the design. Probably we talk about the special, and the special points of the distillery for me is the fact that that close interconnection with the brewing sector. It's a sister, uh, sister process. But actually, the designer took an awful lot of good value from the brewing sector very early on and imparted that into the distillery to, to allow it to develop its character. He developed a few distilleries beforehand, um, and this, I think, was the culmination of that. It's a very efficient distillery. It has its own um, distinct characters. It has horizontal condensers, which are unusual for the industry but not unique, um, which allow us... Um, a little bit of uh, extra process control or easier extra process control for us and um, it has big big stills for its size and they're big bold r robust spirit it's not typically space side it's um it's more rich it's a uh, heavier ester notes it's more depth more character i think yeah. uh, which allows us to play a lot of tunes in the maturation and then we're very fortunate we have a large inventory of stock that takes maturation well. Um, so since you have took over here, have you changed anything in here? Yeah, we, the, we're a custodian of what was an incredible distillery with many special people that were involved in it over the years. Many of the key guys in the industry have had an influence in this, so they are all very good and they have imparted a really great spirit. We would say we're finessing it, um, just giving it a little bit extra, maybe a little bit longer in the fermentation because we can, we're not so driven by production. A little bit slower distillation to maybe give that more um, copper reaction to change the character ever, ever so slightly, maybe change just slightly the, the um, nuance of the new make spirit. But no, it's a fantastic spirit in the first place. We're just hopefully able to continue to get that best out of it as we go forward. And in, in the long term, is, is there a plan to, to expand or to, to, to enlarge on that, or are you happy with, with what you have? Um, I, I, have I have strong opinions of that. Um, uh, when I get the money, I want to try and do a little bit of a research plant next to where the uh, mashing area is. I see there's a really nice area where I can put a couple of really gorgeous stills. Everybody can see them outside. I can just play some tunes before I take it to the big still. So yeah, I have, yeah. It's just uh, persuading Billy. I think he's a convert. I think my team, you know, Mike and Philip, uh, uh, Lindsay, they would, uh, even Willie and, and, and Stuart, 
would absolutely love to be part of that where you get this chance to just it's like bucket chemistry get your hands wet and dirty and try something new and see what happens and in a scale where you can manage it a little bit yeah absolutely so we'll be doing other things so hopefully next time we are here we can see the building with the, the experimental yeah. distillery here yeah so richard thank you for, for your time and the interview no problem thank you bye